All right, guys, welcome to episode 103 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Got the dogs put away. You already know how to yep. fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. And listen, man, only about 50% of y'all are actually subscribed. So how about we hit that fucking button, hit yeah. the bell. If you don't, I'll hit your bell. Huh? How about that? Let's facts, get it. Facts, Let's get it. Facts. Hey. Hey, Facts. Hey, we back. We, we out bike. here. This is what we're doing. Hey, man, it's litty titty. Light your J, light your blunt, pack your bomb, pack your bolt, because that's exactly what the fuck we about to do. All right? That's what we would do. Hey, hey, Lil Wayne, hmm. Lil Wayne Flicker. That, that was for you, Wheezy. That was the first nigga I ever heard fucking use a lighter on a beat. And whenever you heard that lighter... <sighs> Yeah, it was a time to fucking You knew the fireman up. was coming, bitch. The fireman. The fireman. That was the shit. Go yeah. DJ. That was when I was a kid, though. Like, kid, yeah, kid. Yeah, I was Riding like 12, in the back seat, 11. And I'd have to beg my mom to put it on that radio station so I could actually hear it. Yeah, fuck yeah. I remember uh, my first actual rap album CD was 50 Cent, Get, Get Rich or Die Trying, and Ludacris. Listen, I'll tell you something. When I, I didn't even have it. My mom would have never bought that shit for me on top of the fact that she would have never bought me a CD to begin with. Like, she, that was a waste of money. Yeah. But my boy came over, and he just pulled it out, and he was like... And I was like, nah, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> we, had to find, nigga, we had to find a CD player, bro. And yeah. that was, like, that was a different era, man, when you were actually excited <laughs> about, like, certain music and certain artists coming out. Like, I don't know about you guys, but growing up, man, there was certain artists, like, 50 Cent was that guy. 50 Cent was that guy. I think he yeah. influenced everybody. Between him and Lil Wayne, they influenced our whole generation. Yeah. That's so true. Like him, Lil Wayne, there's like five people that influenced our whole generation from hip hop, for people that listen to hip hop. Like Lil Wayne, Gucci Mane, at least in the South, Lil Wayne, Gucci Mane, you know what I'm saying? Like there's certain people that just changed the fucking game, bro, and you got to respect it. You know what I'm saying? You got to fucking respect it. Yeah, that's true. So listen. Damn. Round of applause to them. Round I sound, of applause to them. I sound really, really crisp with the mic. Yeah, straight man. Straight up. My so dog I, just sounding fucking... He's sounding amazing, bro. Yeah. He's sounding amazing. But you know what's not amazing, man? Is this situation that Hot Boy and Glock 9 have gotten themselves into, right? What happened? They've gotten themselves into a sticky one, man. Sticky dicky situation. Get the hell All right? out of here. He's so young. Hey, bro, sometimes they give you enough chances and you fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. They can't keep slapping you on the wrist. But ultimately, these boys are getting hit with RICO charges, man. They're getting hit with RICO charges. So anybody that knows a little bit about law or know, you know, knows what that is, you know that it's serious, man. The feds come. They have a 99% conviction rate. And ultimately, man, when they have 700 pages of evidence like they do with these boys, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it's Snapchats and Instagram DMs and pictures and video recordings and all types of shit, man. Because people nowadays, everybody wants to be on the gram. Everybody wants to be portraying that life yeah. or proving that you're about that life. So these boys are getting hit with some serious shit, man. Like, in my opinion, I feel like Hot Boy has a little bit better chance. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Glock 9 is pretty much done, bro, because... Just for his state cases that he was looking at before this happened, he was looking at possible life in prison. So, this on top of that, bro, you might go to those first cases because they might try them different. You might go to those first couple cases, bro, and get 30 years just for that. And then come over here and then have to face the and, RICO charge. And, and that might Florida. just that might just end you, bro. Yeah, it's Florida, bro. The, the legal system over here, for those that y'all don't know, bro, they don't fuck around with you. They don't fuck around with you. And that's why when they do give you chances. Yeah, you better. Like, Glock 9 had a few chances, bro. They were like, okay, you're you're a rapper. Yes, you come from this environment, but you've made some money. You've made some connections. You yeah. can get out of this. We're going to give you the chance. Yep. You keep fucking up, then people ain't going to keep playing with you, bro. Yeah, they shouldn't have gave you that There's first There's people chance. that died, They didn't bro. have to. There's people that died behind this, this little gang war that's going on in Orlando. And I'm not going to call it little because it's... It's pretty big. It's big. It's gotten out of hand, bro. Like, these guys are having shootouts broad daylights fully automatic glocks going off and stuff having shootouts with their own family members like crazy shit man all yeah. over probably nothing all over a girl or over a disagreement or over just whatever but that's why i was like you gotta guard your energy man you gotta guard your energy and see who you hang around and stuff like that 
For yeah, real. that's that's tough, man. That's hey. a tough situation for him, man. Good luck, bro. Yeah, good luck to you guys. I, I really do hope the best. I don't wish jail on nobody. Yeah, bro. hell no. Don't, you know, there's some people that do belong in there, but ultimately, man, like, I, I just, I, I hope they get out of that. Bro. Yeah. Don't nobody yeah. want to lose their life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like straight yeah, up. That's not good. Straight up. But listen, man, would you ever go skydiving, John? How do you feel about that? Shit, I know your big ass wouldn't fucking go. Hey, I'll tell you what, man. My big fat ass is staying right there on the bench. You don't need two parachutes, bitch. Hey, look, fuck that. I need a parachute for each one of my fucking nuts. Okay? Nah, for real. I How wouldn't do that? it. I'm scared of heights, bro. I really nah, am. Nah, I'm not doing it. You're not... Bro, listen, first of all, if I'm in a plane, ain't no fucking human on earth that could get me out of that plane. Yeah. Like, if I'm up there, it's time to go, buddy. Even if I signed up for it, Bro, if I said no, it's fucking no. You're not yeah. pushing shit. No, nah, I'm you not. You push me, nigga, we're both dying. I'm not going parasailing either. Uh, that's did, different. I might go parasailing. Did you hear about the woman that got her leg bit from a fucking shark? Came out the water <laughs> that's and bit. That's different. Yeah, yeah, bro. I just nah, can't. But that's I love the ocean, bro. but come on. Yeah, I do like the ocean, man. I do like the ocean, but it's just. Skydiving. There's certain things like I'm not, I'm not fucking with, bro. If somebody says shark in the beach. Joke or not, bitch, I ain't going in the water. Yeah, I, I don't I don't want to go that far. I don't know why people do that. But the thing is, it's like 90% of fucking shark attacks, most of them, I'm not going to give a percentage, but most shark attacks happen in like two feet of water, so they happen near the shore. Yeah. Nah, most nah. shark attacks. So that's, that's a scary thought, too. Like, you could just be standing there with water that's up to your kneecap. And a fucking shark comes up and bites your fucking calf off. Yeah, I'm not fucking doing that. So yeah, I'm not no. doing that. I'm not going skydiving. I'm, yeah, I'm not doing sky. I'm not doing anything that's gonna risk my life or my freedom. Let me put All it. Right? To, How about me, that? Let me put it to you like this: I fucking stand on a balcony, and I feel like uneasy. Like one of my buddies, he has a twenty-story fucking condo, and every yeah. time I'm up there, I'm like. After a while, it, your body gets used to it. But the first couple of times when you go up there, it's like, yeah, yeah I'm not supposed no, to you be up feel, here. You feel buildings move. Yeah. I've literally been at like, shout out to the island. Shout out to Puerto Rico. I've been in fucking condominiums up there, bro, where you're all the, like, we were all the way at the top, bro. And you literally felt the building go like this and just come back. And you're just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, no, not supposed to do that. It was kind of like Toby's yeah, fucking uh, cabin. Nah, bro. First of all, <laughs> yo, hey, yo, our boy, bro, our boy, fucking hey, has shout a crazy. Out to Toby, bro, he's the man. First, that is some neat hey, shit. Nah, bro, Toby, we love you, bro. Congratulations on your new home. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For, for you and your wife and shit, man. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. But listen, you got a stilt home. Hey, will. Thank you for pointing that out, because none of us fucking saw that. So Will was like, hey, Toby, where the fuck? What is holding your house to these fucking wooden beams? <laughs> nothing, bro. It's literally nothing. And so we can literally rock back and forth like we're a fucking crib. This thing of Will is running back and forth in the living room, rocking bro. Chair. Rocking the fucking crib. Literally rocking the house. Running back and forth from yeah, the inside of the house. Just making laughing. the house. Yo, if you would have made us fall, bro, and you weren't dead, you would have been. That's I would've, some, I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you that, Will. <laughs> that is a wobbling ass house you got yeah, there. Yeah, you got a fucking... But it's beautiful. You know, it's it's absolute, a beautiful it's, home. It's beautiful. I'd live a, there if a, it was on the fucking ground. <laughs> or if it was fucking secured, bitch. Like, nah, what the fuck? bitch, if a fucking... <laughs> if somebody throws a stone at your fucking... At one of the... <laughs> and they... And they they hit the right fucking stilt. That Your bitch is all is going now. Tumbling, bitch. That shit is tumbling all the way down to the tumbling, ground and sliding to the lake. Tumbling, stumbling, and mumbling all the way to the fucking river. Well, I mean, there's a whole fucking <laughs> stumble. It's gonna stumble, <laughs> slide into the fucking ocean. So you're gonna wake up in the middle of the ocean, bitch. <laughs> I don't understand it, man. You know, <laughs> hey, if y'all would fucking do that, go ahead, oh man. Oh, my but God. No, I'm but not, listen, guys. I'm we're not talking paying. shit. But, yo, Toby, that has your parents have a beautiful home. No, no, it's man. beautiful. It really is. I'm, I'm I liked not, it a lot. Yeah, me too. I'm just not paying a quarter million for that to get fucking. I mean, I am. Fuck out of here. The, no. way, the way prices are in Deltona, nigga. <sighs> hey, y'all that y'all want to know where we live? Look up. Look there, up Deltona we up and look up the fucking prices of houses over here. Fuck that. Nah, bro. I'll you go know what? spend a quarter million to be on an ocean front. Shit. That shit is not ocean front. 
But I mean, it's like the <laughs> it's like the back skirts. It's like the, he's trying to make me look like a shit. Nah, head. it's Yo, like the back skirts of the fucking I'm, ocean. I'm but you're right there, I'm bro. Honest, bro. bro. We're in the fucking swamps. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the swamps. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just it's kidding. just like a ravine in the back of the fucking. It's the woods. Everglades, bitch. <laughs> No, 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 no. These niggas almost floated out the fucking the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> nah, man, that's ridiculous, bro. Nah, I'll I, tell you what, though, man. I love you, though, man. Yeah, we love you, Toby. We fucking love you. Yeah, that was but funny. But somebody else I love, man, is my mom's, right? Ma Dukes, right? And I get to thinking sometimes because I'm like, yo, my parents are, you know, they're not... They're not younger, bro. They're not super old, but they're not on the younger side. My dad's in his 70s. My mom's in her mid-60s. So <clears throat> it's like they're getting older, bro, and you start thinking about certain things, and you start thinking about different things that are going to come, and it's inevitable. You know what I'm saying? Like funerals you're going to have to go to and just taking over, you know, the family legacy. And it, it, when you get to thinking about it, it's a big responsibility, but that's part of the job, bro. It's a, It may be uncomfortable to transition to do it, but it's part of the job, bro. It's part of our, it's, it's our job. Like we were talking about before the cameras and stuff. Yeah. It's like, it's our job, bro, to take care of our parents. It's our job to pick up the load now. Like we're the adults. We're not the kids no more. Yep. We're not 15. We're not 16 or 17, 18, still living at home. Nigga, we're adults. Yep. And ultimately when our parents call, bro, we need help. Yeah, we have to be there, bro. We have to be there. That's why I always say, save some money for rainy days, man, because you don't know when it's gonna come. Yeah, nah, bro. You know, it's not about it's not about the you know the storm coming. It's about if you could walk through the storm yeah, and finish. Facts. That's a big fact. That's round of applause, bro. That was philosophical, literally for real, though. But yeah. nah, that ass like ultimately, and that comes down to making sacrifices, right? Like you got to make certain sacrifices, bro. Like I'm at the point in my life where I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. You can think I'm lame. You can think I changed. You can think I'm whack because I don't go out or do this or do that. Nigga, I'm thinking about taking care of my mother when she can't take care of herself. Yeah. I'm thinking about the bigger picture of my entire life. I'm not thinking about having fun right now. Like that, like to me, bro, yeah. it's like there's certain stages that you go through. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that to me is over. Like it's time to get to work. It's time yeah. to get, you know, LLCs and businesses going and start yeah. becoming the the men that we're supposed to be, bro. Yeah. We're here. We're here. It's, it's all it's all a balance. You gotta balance and find yourself. You know what I mean? When you know it's time to like, hey, again, listen like to your, it, like listening to yourself, listening to your body. Like, hey bro, like you know when it's time to to take care of business and you know when it's time to have fun. You know yeah, what I mean? I feel like you gotta give that up for a while though. Because yeah. anybody will tell you, bro, Elon Musk didn't get to where he's at by having fun and going out. Yep. He didn't go out for years, bro. He mm -hmm. slept in his office. Yeah. He worked for twenty hours a day. Yeah. But people eat, want his eat, money, right? Eat, people want hot dogs. Want, pe exactly. He he was eating hot dogs, yep. literally eating bullshit. Yeah, bro. Like, bro, Every you day. make certain sacrifices. There was one day Dolph posted a picture where he had a ramen noodle cup and he had like thirty thousand and hundreds cash just sitting right next to the fucking ramen noodle cup. And he's like, most people won't understand though. And that's facts. Yeah. He's like, bro, you want to live a certain lifestyle? You're gonna have to give up certain things. Yeah. To me, fun is one of them. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'll catch y'all when I catch y'all, bro. Yeah. That's to me, and on top of that, everybody ain't the same, bro. To me, going out ain't fun. Like, let's go fucking, let's go paintballing, let's go kayaking, kayaking. let's go yeah. fucking do something Hit different. The springs. Fucking rent four wheelers for a weekend and go fucking go in the middle of the woods and ride them. Like, let's do something different, yeah. bro. Like, but take a cruise. Like something. I'll never go on a cruise. Really? I don't trust them. Damn. You and too? the air, the air is Jay's nasty. The, same way. the air is nasty, bro. The air is nasty. Really? I had a, bro, I had a free cruise and didn't go. Free cruise to the fuck to Mexico. I don't know. I, I I don't know. I trust it. I feel like I I feel like I we got don't. the I feel like we got the technology for it. But ultimately, my, man, you got it, like I don't know. I don't trust it. But going back to the main it, point, I mean, it's like yeah, I mean, it's like you got to make certain sacrifices, bro. Yeah, and it, and it doesn't matter what it looks like to other people, bro. You know what's good for you, and you know what's best for yep. you. You know what I'm saying? So if that's what's best for you, if if clearing your head and going out every once in a while or whatever, going that's, to what's, the beach. that's what's good for you, yeah. good, bro. Go do that. But there's people that are like, like they don't need that. Like, for example, bro, like I I, I, I don't need that, bro. I haven't gone on vacation in I don't know how long. Facts. I've been yeah. able to go on vacations in the last few years and denied it because I'm working, bro. Yeah, it's been I have a five goal, years bro. for me. I have a goal, bro. Yeah. We have goals. Yeah, it's been and a while. And that's the sacrifice. 
people are like, oh, bro, we're going to go do this and do this to show off for Instagram or show off for their family or whatever. But it's like, do that if you can do that. If you're going to come back and be broke after that trip, you probably shouldn't be taking that trip. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And on the flip side, even if you can't afford that trip, is it beneficial, bro? Yeah. Is it gonna is it gonna is fucking it really beneficial though? Like you'll go, bro, I need the break. Do you do you really though, or are you just bitching? <laughs> no, no, let's I keep know, it real. I know those people too. No, you feel me? It's yeah. like, do you really though? Like, like damn, you've bro, only been only, back at work for been, three months. It, yeah, it's only been like six months. <laughs> like, what are you talking like, about? I haven't took a vacation in years, bro. Yeah, and it's people been a while. look at me like I'm fucking crazy. People yeah. look at me like I'm fucking lame for for yeah. certain things. I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck. Cause yeah. I know where I'm gonna be at in 15 years, bro. And the niggas talking shit ain't gonna be there. Well, literally, I mean, <laughs> you know like, like, when you're on your own, it's like you have no choice. Like, my uncle just called me. He was like, "Hey, man, like, what are you doing for the fourth? I was like, "You want to go to Miami with me?" I was like, "Nah, bro, I'm not. I'm not trying to go there, man. I got bills I gotta pay. I'm on my you own got now. Like, I shit. can't. Yeah, like, I can't just go and leave. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. then I can't just stop working. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And that's and the I can't, thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it doesn't matter. And there's people that don't understand. Like, bro, even when you work for yourself. You don't, you actually have less time than when you work for somebody else. Listen, most of you guys going to work, you guys are working 40 hours a week, maybe 50 if they make you. If they make you. Yeah. If they make you. If they make you. Guess what your boss is working? Probably 100, 120. Yeah. To keep the company running. Because guess what? That's their baby, not your baby. You don't give a fuck about coming in late. They do. Yeah. They care about it. They care about it. That's their baby. And guess what, bro? That's what you got to learn as a business owner. Me and John have been learning that for the last couple of years. Bro, nobody's going to help you carry the load like you are because it's your creation. It's your idea. It's your work. It's your fucking sweat. It's your tears Yep. that are going into it. And ultimately, nobody gives a fuck about it. Nobody even looks at you or applauds you until you make it. Yeah, a lot of the time. A lot of the time. Yeah. That's why we tell y'all when we tell y'all, yo, we appreciate the support. We fucking really do, bro. Because there's people that like most people don't do that. No, you know it's, what I'm saying? it's, it's not like, even that. It's like if more people like work together instead of like going against each other, like we would fucking move a lot quicker. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? But it, but people want to make hurdles and, and 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 throw bad energy and shit like that because I believe in that. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I believe in that too. It's like but then you got to balance everything. I always say that. You know, it's. If there was no highs, there would be no lows. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like it, it's it's like the yin and the yang. It's like it balances everything out. Like you. Like there wouldn't be no happy days, you know what I mean? Like, like there would be no sunny days if it was rainy. Like, it, like it's like vice versa. Like, I don't know how to yeah, explain no, it. Like, there's a balance, bro. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a balance. The yin and yang. Yeah, yeah. Yin and yang in life, bro. Like, you need both, man. But ultimately, I need more peace than fucking negativity. Yeah. In oh life. yeah. That's why, like, yeah, peace goes a long way, bro. Like you've known me for years, bro. I've never been. The, I'm. You've never heard me of being in no drama, bro. Yeah. No. Ever. Yeah. And if there was, it was taken care of behind the scenes. Yep. Because I've never been that guy. Nope. Like, you're not going to get me to come out of character when you want me to come out of character. I'm going to catch you on a day where I'm... Where, where it makes you, sense. Let me see if your energy is the same. Yeah. yeah. And then we could go from there. You weren't angry off, you know, your emotion or Fact. some shit. Like, exactly. You, you, like, let's... let's, let's you know and what I'm that, saying? Let's cool off. That took Let's, time, bro. Because yeah. I used to be... I, when I was young, young, yeah. you could ask my mom, bro. When I was in middle school, uh, fights. Every other week, bro. Yeah. Elementary fights every other week. I wasn't putting up with it, but you grow and you're like, yo, let me see if this kid's actually like about that. Half the time they're not. And half the time though, yo, my bad dog. I ain't even mean that. You know what I'm saying? I was having a bad day and my fucking parents are sick. Whatever it is. And you then you get to understand that like, yo, this kid's not really angry at me. Like he wasn't coming at me. He was just pissed that day. Yeah. He has shit going on in his life like we all do. Yeah, exactly. You know, sometimes we forget that. We look at somebody and we're like, yo, like we take it real personal. Yeah. I've, I, I've done that a lot. Yeah, where yeah, I'm like, too. yo, this motherfucker, who this fucking guy think he is? Yeah. But you sit back, yo, yo, this guy, pro- this, you know, I don't know what this nigga going through. Yeah. You and know the, what I'm saying? For real. And it's all emotion, bro. Like it's hard. It's hard, bro. Emotions are hard. You know what I mean? To yeah, shake off. To, to shake with. off. They're, but that's why you got to talk about it, man. Yeah. Ultimately, it's just communication, bro. Communication. But when you communicate, that's why I'm the type of person where it, like I don't like arguing at all not even not not at all but in relationships with women especially i'm gonna cool off yeah and i'm gonna let you cool off because you're about to say some shit that you don't want to say i had to learn and that. i'm about to say some shit i don't want to say oh and i've, I've so said I'm gonna it walk i've over said it there. oh i've said it yeah me too oh, but man. i'm gonna walk over there 
and I'm going to fucking calm down. Yeah. Because that's what you do. You assess the situation when you care. When you care. When you care. Yeah, people don't understand that. Like, you don't have to really explain yourself unless At all. you care. Yeah. People don't, people just don't get that and like really like put it in their head like, yo, like my dog doesn't have to explain himself to me, but he's explaining himself because I appreciate because he cares. Facts. That's the like anything, even with your girl, any type of relationship. Yeah. Nah, for real, bro. You got, listen, man, ultimately as adults, bro, you don't owe shit to nobody that don't pay your fucking bills. Straight yeah. like that. That ass. If they don't pay your fucking bills, bro, you don't owe an explanation. You don't owe shit to them. Yeah. And that, like you said, that's a misconception that a lot of people have. Like, guys, we got to start realizing that our friends don't owe us anything. They're our friends because they want to be. Yeah. They're there because they want to be because they care about you in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody. Some people take advantage and all that, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about real friends. Your real friends, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like yeah, actions speak louder than words. Yeah, actions speak louder sure. than words, man. For sure, they speak louder than words. And you know what? When someone comes at you with some negativity, you know what I do? I automatically think that it's just something with them, and I just give them empathy. Yeah, and I hit them with, and I hit them with a different route instead of engaging. And it depends. If someone's really disrespectful towards you and they put their hands on you, it's different. Then you're gonna get the hands. No, but I'm just yeah, saying, words don't. Yeah, but words, I'm just talking about words. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah. I, I, I got to that point where words were, that's not affecting me. Yeah. I'm not going to say I'm a saint, never been perfect. Nigga. Yeah, facts. Me too. I've, I've, I'm a sinner, born sinner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm God's child, but I'm a born sinner. So I ain't perfect, but I learned that. Like, don't let nobody trick you out of character, bro. Because usually, I'm telling you, man, usually when somebody don't care about your life, it's because they don't care about their life. Trust me, bro. I've been in that stage in my life, too, where it's like, nigga, I'm ready to take it there with anybody right now, bro. Facts. Because I don't give a fuck about my we, own life right yeah. now. What's up? What are we so doing? So we yeah. could die right now, yeah. nigga, on yeah. some real shit. Yeah, I mean. Or you just take the high road. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've seen like, people where they get out. They, they don't mind their business. They fucking come out of pocket and they shoot themselves in the fucking nuts. I've seen that happen. Shut up, Bob. I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it with my own eyes. Literally and you saw know what? it with our own eyes. But Crazy. What's, but what's really important, that's irrelevant. <laughs> what's really important is another topic that I kind of wanted to get into was uh, self-motivation. Self-motivation. You man. know, and in speaking in speaking to yourself is very important. Like, you know, talking to yourself in your head or even, even if you're speaking out loud, you know, by yourself and you're just yeah. like, hey, like... I do that all the time. You like, probably walk to the kitchen and hear my stupid ass talking. Yeah. There's and, sometimes where I be talking to myself. I talk to family and shit too, but it's like... There's times where bro, you got to talk to yourself. Nah, and then it's just like, it, it's just positive. Like, say, like, you know, really say to yourself, mm-hmm. like, hey, like, I could do this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how, but I'm, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to figure out a way. Yeah, you know what and I mean? That's like, that's thing. literally the mindset you need to keep going. And it's just going to, life is just going to give you jabs. It's going to punch you. Oh, how bad you really want it? I'm going to punch you right fucking here. Real yeah, hard, where facts. it fucking hurts. Yeah, facts. Like, life has a funny way of, de- of dealing with things, man. Like... You learn. It teaches you. Life itself will teach you a lot of situations, bro. But, yeah, man, self-motivation, bro. You got you to gotta motivate yourself. Honestly, in my opinion, the only opinion that should truly matter to you is your own. Yep. Like, if you don't, if you're not happy with something, if you're not content where you are in life or the quality of what you're doing or whatever it is, improve it. Because that's what, that's what really matters. That internal voice. So, that's what lets you know if you're being mediocre or not. Not somebody else. Somebody else yeah. could be a yes man, bro. And that's that's the thing that, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that my niggas have never been like that. Y'all never been yes men, and I've never been one either. Yeah, I'll and say that no. that shit's hot <laughs> ass cheeks, like, you need that, especially in the studio. Like, yeah. when we make music, it's like, bro, tell me if I need to redo this. Yeah. Just, you don't have to be a dick about it. Yeah. But it's like, no, like there's been me. times where we do it, and Jay will be like, yo, shout out to you, Jay. Jay will be like, yo, like, yo, Poppy, let's redo that. I bet, yo, bet. Like, you don't have to say nothing else. That yeah. right there, let me know. It does not sound fucking good. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's what we need, bro. You you don't got to be an asshole, but you got to be real with people. And a lot of people, man, they, they just, that's rare now. That's rare, finding real people, bro. Like, like people just need to stop being soft, like, like at the end of the day, like, for real. And don't. Come on, man. Like, we all have our little soft spots. You feel me? Yeah, of course. But it's it's, good. Like, it's okay to have emotions, Yeah, man. bro. You're like, human. Yeah. You're going to have emotions. But it's like, 
come on, bro. Like you, you, you just got to know how to react to it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. Nah, bro. I, I completely agree, man. Yeah, it's just, a, uh, listen, bro. It's about how you react, bro. Yeah. Every action has a reaction. Yeah. If you react in a negative way, it's going to continue a negative cycle. You know what I mean? Just, but a yeah. lot of the times, bro, I'm telling you, killing them with kindness, that type of stuff works. Somebody's an asshole to you. You'd be like, yo, God yeah. bless. I hope your day's good. And uh, keep walking. They're going to be like, yo, I just told this guy to go fuck off. Yeah. And he looked at me dead in my eyes and said, God bless you, man. Have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. They're gonna that's, go in their car and be like, "Yo, I'm a fucking dick." That's more powerful. Ha- exactly. That's more powerful to do that than to to actually like get in a fight with this nigga in the middle of the parking lot. Yeah, it's more because that's because <laughs> that's expected. You know what I mean? That's right. expected. He's not expecting you to react like this. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? Like, honestly, the guy that tried me at that Donald General, bro, I felt I, bro, I was really about to like really kill you, bro. Like, like not even like he's still upset. But four months later, but. <laughs> Just know I don't forget, bro. You know what I mean? But Nipsey said, bro, you got to learn how to react. He's like a tortoise. He don't forget nothing. <laughs> what Nipsey said, bro, you got to know how to react when you're disrespected. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, that's true. But I've also need, I've also seen Nip slap the fuck out of a nigga that was trying to his bodyguard. <laughs> so it is about respect. No, it is. It and is. at that point, that lets you show though. that. He's like, yeah. bro, I don't, this is my bodyguard, but I'm going to slap you before he does. Because you're crazy. being a disrespectful motherfucker. That's crazy that you did that. It's not the but no 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 I because mean, in as a, good a man way. in a good way as a man you're disrespecting me bro yeah. by try even trying me right now in front of this but man. it's crazy to look at it from an outside perspective it's like bro you're bro you're, that's what the bodyguard is there for yeah exactly but nigga bro like, you that could have been his homie though that could have been like his nah, boy like was, he grew up with you know what I yeah, mean yeah that too but it's it's not about that bro it's yeah. about the, the principle. principle it's yeah. about the respect yeah and Nip wasn't having that bullshit yeah like, bro you're disrespecting somebody that's with me. Yeah, and you know whether what? he's supposed to be protecting me or whatever the fuck he's doing, he's with me, and you're disrespecting him. Yeah, so watch that, your fucking that, that's mouth. Some weirdo shit, and you know what else is some fucking weirdo shit? What? These people fucking doing this nail polish shit going on? Like, oh like, my like god, guys, bro. bro! Listen, man, thank you for bringing that up. I almost forgot. Hey, Yachty, man. I I could salute a hustle when no. there's a hustle, right? Facts, facts, facts. I, I can I salute that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, round of applause a little yachty. Oh shit. Oh yeah. That well, too. We laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> that was our real perspective. Yeah. This is no. for you though, real I, I quick. Like, I like We're the gonna music. give you your flowers yeah. before we shit on them. Yeah, yeah. I like okay? the music. Yeah, I like the music. I, I like don't the, even I like your the, music. I, like, I just I like some of it. I, I don't like I don't really listen to you. No offense to you. Not yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh I just salute your hustle, man. You're a kid. You came from a high or, or a college dorm. You were eating oodles and noodles, and you came up. You made your money. Now you're doing business shit. I I respect that. Yeah. But nigga, why do why do we got to turn this like this uh, push push an agenda? There's always an agenda. Like why do we got to get little boys to start painting their nails? It now? is not okay for men to paint their nails unless you're a fucking rock star. Yeah, facts. If you're like on some like, like, John like that Lennon ass. shit like, or like some if shit, you, yeah, like if you're a rock star, yeah, yeah, facts. You could do that, bro. Because you're, even a fuck, then, because you're a rock star. Even then, these niggas are going too far. Because, like, yeah. for example, MGK, I fucks with him. Okay, Shout out yeah, to MGK. Nah, nah. Round of applause, uh, MGK. Yeah, Did you see the fucking nails that that nigga had, had one pink. day? It was pink, and then he painted his his. No, no, no. It wasn't even about black. the color. Them shits were this long. They were like the fucking nails from the girls that be sitting at the phone at the DMV that don't no. fucking want to be there. Look it up, I swear. And we're going to oh put it on the screen. Oh, my gosh. Get the hell out of here. Screen. MGK, bro. What MGK, the hell, I was bro? upset, bro, because I'm like, yo, I fucks with MGK. Even yeah. when he went over to rock and stuff, Look, I was like, yo, I fucks with that. You know, that's what you really want to do, bro. Be happy and go make rock music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, come on, man. There's always an agenda to push, and I'm tired of that bullshit, bro. Yeah, that's I why, feel- like, I'm a homeschool my kids, bro. Yo, I Straight felt up. like, nah, it's not even homeschool. It's like, you can go out anywhere. I went to the fucking gas station, right? And I'm out here trying to get some L's and shit, mm-hmm. get some gas. And this motherfucker just like I, I put it over like I'm about to give him cash. Gives me the change back, and there's a, a dude with regular fucking nails. And I'm like, bro, like it, it's just not normal to me, bro. It's like not, it's just not normal to me. And, it's not. And but you know they're what? trying to they're trying to push that agenda, man. Yeah, and it's like I get it, bro, but not really. Wow. Wow. Well, guys, we appreciate everybody that's been rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Yeah. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah, man, hit yeah. that subscription button. Yeah. Hit the notification bell. Stop. Don't be a fucking vagina. And stop painting your nails. And guys, please, stop. man, please. Just come on, man. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go back to the roaring 20s. Let's go back to the old day 20s. <laughs> 
we suited up. You know what I'm saying? We were suited Facts. up. Yeah, Let's bro. get it, man.